Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Jack Oti medal for the best player in this year's grand final is Nathan Buckley. Nathan Buckley. I still have nightmares about Nathan Buckley. He had one of those years where you go, that was just unbelievable. He won the Jack Oti medal in the grand final best player. He won the McGarry medal. He won the best and fairest and he won a premiership. I don't think anyone's actually done that in the whole of SANFL history. He was a really self-driven player that he, he wanted to perform and he'd get upset really terribly if he, uh, if he didn't get to the level that he wanted. So I just knew that he had it in him. There was, you know, without a doubt that he was always going to be the best. The winner of the 1992 McGarry medal is Nathan Buckley. An award like this isn't done individually, it's, there's, all, there's a whole team behind helping one player win an award such as this and all the players down at Port Adelaide have, uh, have been great to me since I've been there. Dad, he directed me to Port Adelaide and that's probably it's been one of the best moves that uh, I've made in my career so uh, thanks a lot for that Dad. During a game, if he was standing me, he could tell you how many kicks I'd had, how many touches he'd had. Um, he knew that all his career. Now quickly, just in closing, do you really count your kicks? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Every quarter? No, no, just every kick individually. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look at it now, it's, to me it was an honour to play with a guy like that. Um, total professional uh, from every game he played. You know, he wanted to win um, and he wanted to play the best ability he had and he had a massive amount of ability. Take it. Good handball by Darren Smith. That was a beauty. Buckley has one to beat. That was Rubre. He did it easy. He's a class act and he banged it through. Boy, gee, they wanted that one. It, it was his stage. It was the day that he was waiting for to show you know, the rest of the country what he could do in massive games. Big crowd, you know, 35, 40,000. Um, and he was ready for that next next level, which is the AFL. Mark Williams brings the ball back into play. Oh, classic grab by Nathan Buckley. That was a gem up high. It just blew me away that he uh, just attacked the ball and took this big mark and, and I was sort of behind watching him and just protecting him. And uh, it was just, I thought, wow, you know, this kid is really good. Standing start, shoots towards goal. Don't tell me he's done it again. Oh, what a sensational goal. Buckley boots his second and put that late on fire. Just to show us how arrogant he was, it's pouring down the rain, it's that thick full of water, and he decides to have a bounce. Who did a Tom and Jerry and lost the footing. Off goes Buckley, has the arrogance to bounce the football. A brilliant, brilliant player, and good in a big game. That's when you test players, how good they are in final. Fashion type of game, let's get the football, give it to someone and win the game. And that's what they have done in the 1992 Grand Final. Too strong. He stood up there on the, on the, in the big stage, did what he had to do, and uh, you know it, it was great to see. And you still talk to him. This is the wonderful thing about Bucks. He's gone off. He only had one year. It was the only Premiership team he ever played in the senior football, and he's never forgotten it. Is the guys he played with that will still ring him now in Melbourne. He will still answer the call. He will still come out and catch up for a, for a drink and, and, a, and a bite to eat. He's never forgotten it. And uh, with everything he's achieved after that, that's that's a reflection of the bloke's character and what. 92 held for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Jack Oti medal for the best player in this year's grand final is Nathan Buckley. Jack Oti medal, a McGarry medal and a premiership all in one year. What else can you do, my friend? Oh, I can just praise the blokes. It's just, they've, they've made me what I am. I mean, I've put in the hard work, but without these blokes, there's nothing like this is possible.